In this lesson, we'll cover the Clipper. First, let's start an interactive render. With the V-Ray Clipper, we'll be able to cut through this geometry to see inside these shapes. And there's a couple of ways we can do this. First, we can use SketchUp's Section Plane tool. So let's try that. Pick the Section Plane tool. Make sure that you get inside of the group. And then go ahead and click to set a section plane. You'll see the render update, and there's nothing to see because the section plane is showing nothing. Go ahead and move that section plane up, and you'll see the render update. Notice that with the left shape, it appears to be a block that's just cut down smaller, something that looks kind of solid. And with the right shape, we can actually see inside to the geometry of this house. To show you why this is, I'll look back at the SketchUp model. And if I turn on wireframe here, you can see with these two edges here that the walls have thickness, whereas with this single edge here, we see that this is a single face on each side of this box. So when you have a single face around this cube, for example, single faces on each side, then V-Ray interprets that as a solid. Whereas when you have wall thicknesses, then V-Ray will determine that this is supposed to be empty inside other than the additional geometry we see here. So I'll go ahead and turn this back to Shaded with Textures and click back to see the V-Ray frame buffer. Let's take a look at a few of the Clipper options. First, let's go to the V-Ray Asset Editor, and you'll notice in the Geometry tab, we have a section plane here. Go ahead and click on the right flyout menu, and let's talk about some of the V-Ray Clipper parameters. The Effect Lights option, go ahead and uncheck that, determines whether the light can actually pass through the clipping plane. So in this case, the inside of this box becomes dark, as if you can't see inside of it at all, or the light can't come inside of it at all. We'll check it back on, though. Camera Rays Only, click to check this on, and notice what happened to the reflections. So I'll uncheck it again. Notice the reflections seem accurate for the clipping here, or I'll check it back on. Now they seem inaccurate, meaning they're assuming that the entire object is visible. So if you ever want the reflections to match the source object and not the clipped one, you could use this option. I'll go ahead and uncheck that again. The clip lights parameter would clip any lights that the section plane was not showing as visible. Notice use object material. If you uncheck this, we'll no longer be using the object's material for the clipping plane. And instead, now we have the option to pick our own material. So if you drop this menu down and pick yellow, for example, then that will cover where the clipping plane is affecting the geometry. Now there's another way that we can use the V-Ray Clipper that's a little more powerful. First, let's go ahead and right click on the section plane here in the Geometry tab and hit Delete. Next, in SketchUp, let's go to your Outliner. And you'll notice here that there's a Clipper Custom Mesh that's being hidden. Go ahead and select that, and I'll use my keyboard shortcuts to unhide it. And you'll see that this is a custom mesh that we're gonna to use to clip this object. Next, I'll move the asset editor over, and you'll see that there's a tool here called the Mesh Clipper. With this object selected, go ahead and click on that, and now you've turned that into a V-Ray Mesh Clipper. Notice here, though, that while it's creating a house shape, I happen to know that if we turn on wireframe mode here, you can peek back and you see there's supposed to be a chimney that's being clipped right now. So I'll switch back to the regular viewing mode here. And in order to get this to work properly, I'll make sure I have that V-Ray Mesh Clipper selected. I'll cut it using keyboard shortcuts. And then I'll make sure to get inside of the innermost component here and then paste this in place. Notice now that the Clipper only works on that box and not the underlying chimney so that we've essentially made ourselves a little house. You can experiment more with making your own shapes to use as mesh clippers. So for example, in SketchUp, I'll get outside of that component. And then you could take something like the rectangle tool and build a small little object, turn it into a component. And with it selected, click on the mesh clipper tool and then move that into the shape. So play around with doing this for yourself, creating some shapes and carving them in. 